Hi guys, hope you're doing well. We are in a state of caution. We were fear uh, about 20 minutes ago, and what's actually happened is that we've improved slightly on the technicals, on the technical scores, and because of that, we've gone to caution. But it's possible we're going to go back into fear again if the technical scores drop. Note that we won't go to extreme fear for the fact that the big picture uh, is green, and so we won't go to extreme fear. There's too many bears left in the equation for things to really fall. Because if we did, they would get paid. And now it's worth noting, um, while the indices are looking quite heavy, and what's actually happened is that the herd are buying on the 24-hour change, we're seeing very much of a weakening on the USD. So I think what's happening is that that's getting sedated and it's been under pressure because they're trying to avoid a wrecking ball scenario. Uh, the indices actually look fairly heavy when I show you the uh, analysis that I've just done for the quasi to be guys uh so i think what's happened is that uh they're just basically sedating the dollar to avoid like that wrecking ball scenario uh which would be slightly frustrating if you're trading the dollar but uh it's it's just one of those things where it's going to take one for the team uh you know because they can definitely manipulate the price of the usd to avoid a wrecking ball and likewise you know we've got a strong vix um, but we should really, really kind of see a strong dollar and we should see a strong tre uh, treasury yield as well. Uh, but we're seeing the opposite happen. So what's ha what I think is happening is that it's been sedated to avoid that uh, destructive ball in the china shop uh, situation. Now I'll show you the indices. Uh, right, so before I do that, look how weak the USD is. And it's actually overtaken the yen. It's really going into free fall mode and that's... It's just because they're trying to, uh, they're selling that off, uh, maybe in order to buy the dip for, um, you know, we've got an ECB risk event. It could be dollar positive. In fact, it probably should be, uh, but depending on what actually happens at the ECB. And then we've got the NFP as well. And we had some mixed data out today. So it's potentially what's happening is that they're weakening the dollar to avoid a wrecking ball situation. And then they're going to get a nice low entry. So it could be quite tricky, it could be frustrating, because really you could argue it shouldn't really be going into free fall mode uh, when you look at the indices. So let me show you those. Um, we'll come back to gold, but because we want to talk about the indices, the gold's moved, uh, it's kind of a bit weird, but I'll, we'll get to gold after the indices. Um, so really with um, DAX is that we had an old resistance, a punishment box, and uh, you know we did this big move and we come back up to the punishment box so this was drawn around that date if you watched these videos you would have seen me drawing these boxes and that really came into play uh three maybe four yeah you could probably argue four touches off that resistance and down we came so it looks quite heavy and because we're going to potentially be back in this channel because what's happened is that they're going along so the indices should be falling, well, at least the DAX, okay? And because of that, should we see a weak dollar? You know, it's a little bit mischievous. It's a little bit naughty. And so they're trying to buy the US 30 uh, quite strongly. Uh, they went sideways. And now they thought, well, I think, um, yeah, I think what we'll do, we're going to buy. But they're thinking, like, as a hive mind. So we have to be a little bit careful. Uh, these guys could get rewarded because we don't forget at the big picture is that we are a buy. Um, but it would be slightly unusual to see them getting rewarded, but it can happen. They normally get punished. So, for example, here they sold. We had a massive move to crush them. And now they're going long. So we should be below this box. So we should be below 38250, okay? And um, I think... They probably know, when I say they, I mean like the banks, they probably know the indices are, are, might be starting to fall. And so they're just trying to put the dollar down uh, and to avoid it getting too angry, uh, potentially. Because I think, well, we should be having a strong dollar. And if you remember, there was some stuff that was out of bonk on Thursday as well. The, the treasuries and the dollar and risk, they were out of bonk. So uh, it seems that they might have uh, envisioned some risk-off scenario from late last week. 
going into you know, the risk amounts this week. And it could be setting up for a dollar dump for an almighty pump potentially at the ECB. Um, because they're going to be calling for more rates, uh, more cuts, and uh, that should soften the euro, and it might bolster the dollar. Uh, US 500, likewise, they've gone long, so they're trying to buy, but will they get paid? We'll have to wait and see. So it's kind of one of those things that we ideally be having the trading station so you could monitor it. I'm not sure if you'd be trading at this time of day, but if you are, then it's definitely a good addition to have, perhaps... You finish for your day. I don't know what your style of trading is. Perhaps you're just scalping or swing trading. Or I'm not sure. But it's definitely an amazing little addition, especially as you can see the sentiment unfold. And let's talk about gold. Now, what had happened with gold is that we made a, um, a big drop suddenly. So like us, like, we'll not do anything and hold for a while, but I'll quick sell. So that it's like this just went sideways for ages for, I don't know, maybe eight, nine hours. Then it was suddenly quick, quick sell. And it's like a, um, it's the sheep basically just moving, uh, you know, moving like that. Uh, like from, you know, like the shepherds just like uh, cracked the whip and the sheep have all gone suddenly one way quickly and it's just a very aggressive sell um, move and um, yeah, it dropped eight percent in two hours so suddenly something spooked them and said right we've got to sell it I don't know what would have caused it I mean they're looking at this resistance <laughs> I'm not really sure um, so we should be seeing more upside in gold and lastly oil this would have been a good one if you traded it um, if you remember we made this big W and I was saying to potentially wait, because we had the flip, but we could see we we're going into positive territory in order to become a buy. All right, so we did this. So this is actually really bullish. It sold, sold, sold. Now this is the thing, this is why we've got to be patient because we can get the flip to buy and then the flip to sell. So we had a static flip and then another static flip. So this, this was a trap. And I was saying, you know, from a technical perspective, we've made a W. Um, so you'd want to be really careful about buying up there. And look what's happened. There's that harmonic. And, uh, you know, we created that resistance. There's that W. Strong resistance. Uh, this is from Sunday. This is, uh, well, this was from Friday, but I, I did it on Sunday. Then we came. And down we come. Uh, very very heavy it's potentially got more legs to the downside 85% so we come from 50% flip to 85% in a short space of time I don't know what's going to happen with this gold it did look like we were going to go we were sort of making our way up to 50% here and now suddenly they sold it so it's going to be a making it a buy and I figured maybe we might cross over 50%. If we did, then we'll fall quite heavily. But it looks like they're selling it. So uh, I think probably a good trade tip would be potentially to be patient. And if you're trading, maybe scalping could be the good, could be a good method. I think this is probably setting up for a dollar pump uh, later on this week. And this is the, then we could be like having a risk off event potentially, um, especially if we look at that sentiment on the indices. So um, keep an eye on your spreadsheet. And I've got a feeling that we're going to be in fear phase, which is coming more frequently now. Uh, you know, a month ago, we would never really be fear at all. It would be, you know, euphoria constantly. And now we're getting to the fear caution phase. So um, we'll just have to wait and see, especially if we keep seeing this 24-hour change. It's only going to take 16 days at this rate, and then things are going to be quite heavy, and then we'll see a big big dump on risk. And don't forget, when we go into positive territory, and then we go back negative, that's going to be a good buy-the-dip opportunity, and that's going to be... Ideally, I'd like more of a dump, I want to see a big healthy dip 
but we may not get it. But this will give us a dip by an opportunity and it will be based on data. All right, we'll just be using the SSI data. So very reliable. So when we do buy, we'll be looking at that and this will aid us and uh, giving us more confidence about holding long uh, on the S&P or the Dow or the DAX. Um, but so we, we may not get an all, a massive, massive dip, but we'll get one. But we do need that to go over to zero into plus. And then it will rinse out all those bears. And, uh, you know, then when it goes back negative, then we'll have new bears. And that's the thing. And those new bears will hold on. <laughs> okay. Um, so the old bears will be ejected. New bears will come in. Then even more new bears. And then we'll get really skewed. And then those guys will be blowing their accounts again. And that's how that's, that's what will happen. So that's the QDB. Uh, system which I think it's going to be really good it's going to be a little bit nerve-wracking when it happens but we'll just have to be careful and we'll have to know about position size as well and you can have small lot sizes if you use the IC markets uh, which I would recommend that everyone uses because of the leverage and uh, you know the customer service and stuff like that it's really good so um we're a little way off. We've still got, you know, hypothetically 16 days before we go fully risk off. But no doubt the herd are going to probably sell at some point. And then once we do, then we'll go back green on there. And then we'll be uh, pumping again. So we'll just have to wait and see how we go. But it's going to be quite exciting when we do. But we've still got a bit of time left, uh, probably two weeks, if we continue at this rate. But obviously, it's an unknown quantity, and we'll have to just keep doing the daily bulletins, and then we can see. So there's today's video, and hopefully you enjoyed it, and it was useful. And hopefully, um, if you've got any questions, just let me know, and I hope you have a good night. I'll speak to you soon.